Seven years after the death of Eric Garner, a Manhattan Supreme Court judge says a judicial inquiry into his fatal arrest begins in October. The inquiry means that all first responders who were present should expect to testify, and possibly even the mayor and former police commissioner. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has more. We are still fighting. We still does, don't have the answers that we need. But some answers could be coming soon after Monday, a Manhattan Supreme Court judge decided there will be an inquiry into how the city handled Eric Garner's death. Garner died July 17, 2014, when Officer Daniel Pantaleo used an unauthorized chokehold on Garner on Bay Street on Staten Island. Pantaleo was later fired by the NYPD. There were so many other officers involved in my son's death that day and those officers need to stand accountable. By Friday, Justice Erica Edwards will decide what evidence she'll permit and who she'll let testify in the case scheduled for October 25th. The plaintiffs, which include Garner's family and four other petitioners from different organizations, want Mayor de Blasio and former police commissioner James O'Neill to testify. We've laid out for the court in our submissions of public statements and even um, uh, quasi-public statements that th these officials have made that show that they have personal knowledge and they have personal involvement. The plaintiffs also claim some information on the police report was false and say the judicial process will allow them to get records they've been asking for since 2019. So we'll look at them as to sort of the, uh, you know, the basis for the stop um, or lack of basis, the excessive force uh, at the scene, uh, the leaks of uh, arrest uh, history and, and medical information, um, and then the investigations or lack of investigations to that conduct. In court, the city's attorney argued the mayor and police commissioner should not have to testify because they don't get involved with day-to-day decision-making. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Now, the petitioners are not asking for any monetary damages. Instead, they want to see changes to the city's policies and NYPD oversight, which can be decided by a judge. 